Hello, Stringworms! It is time we are getting in to Half-Life, or in this case, the remake by Crowbar Collective, Black Mesa. It is indeed time for crabs and hello! And we, we have Arya in spirit with us here on my noggin. Uh, would, would Arya be a head crab? I'm looking out, Ray, but I've already gotten got. It's unfortunate, but I, I have a friend along for the ride, and I am subsequently armed. I am prepped, I am prepared, I am ready for science! So, let us get into it proper, get the desktop audio going here. Okie dokie, actually before we get into things, I'm going to double check my video settings. Yeah, if I can get this into windowed borderless, that would be awesome. Okay, now I can go to OBS without having to close the game, excellent. That's what we like to see. Okay, okay, so Half-Life, let's just get into it. This is a certified classic 1998, but this remake is phenomenal. Let's do it. Okay, Black Mesa. I am prepped, I am prepared. Off we go. Oh, look at all this detail. He's gorgeous. <clears throat> Black Mesa, New Mexico, research facility. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa transit system. Good morning. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Uh, that's great. Oh, Barty, you're locked out. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees. With it is hot up in New Mexico. Look at all these guys doing science. Good for them. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Going through all these areas that we're going to visit during the course of the game. Yeah, yeah, Ray. Half-Life VR, but the AI is quote-unquote sentient, is such an amazing series. Hello, Gordon! <laughs> Whoop, loading. Loading. It do be loading. There we go. Uh, yes, the number three is quite intimidating to Valve since they cannot count to it, apparently. This train is inbound from... <laughs> yeah. Look higher! Ropes! ...to Sector C test labs and control I'll have to give that a rewatch. That series is so funny. Your intended destination is a high yeah, the, the loading sections are kind of funny. Sector it's, uh... Accurate to how the original game functioned because they also had loading segments like that because um, Original half-life was basically built on a modified version of the quake engine So as much as they were loading screens there were more like actual levels that you were just hopping between as the game went along Because half-life was one of the first games to do linear storytelling or first um, first-person shooter games I guess I should say <coughs> Oh, there's dry, arid New Mexico. Look at all that dust. Look at them rocks. Oh, we're going down. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking. No smoking, but it's 420 today. Why can't Gordon light up a fat one? Oh, this game is lovely. Get rotated. Oh, we're getting rotated. Yes, edibles are an option. That would explain how things went so cataclysmically wrong before Gordon went into work. He, he just had a little of an edible before going into work. Bye, fellas. Passengers are to remain seated and await for the Oh, they're switching to a top rail. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. What are you guys up to down there? That helicopter uh, looks a bit intimidating. I'm sure that won't be a fucking problem later. Arrives. 
and back on the bottom rail. Tram maintenance. I'm stuck in my crouch position. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Gordon, these edibles ain't shit. <laughs> 30 minutes later in Zen. That is accurate. Not to be confused with our Zen. Go through, please. I work here, I promise. All right, off we go. <laughs> it is good that you have standards. You don't want people teleporting into your dimension. Ka chunk. Quick load. It'd be curious. It's been a long time since I booted up actual original 1998 Half-Life proper. I'm sure it would load ridiculously fast on a modern PC. Or simply not function at all. Ah, Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. We'll commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. Education, PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. He's a smart cookie. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your physics. Physician, research associate. Ooh, lasers. Assignment, anomalous materials laboratory. We researching them unidentified materials. Clearance level three. We're high up there. Addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of Administrative Sponsor Classified. Interesting. Security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. Disaster response priority. Discretionary. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Oh, we are gonna be administering some heavy discretion in this game. Yes, Snapcube is magnificent. I, I love Penny so much. And their live dub of Half-Life is phenomenal. We going? Oh, y'all have a long walk ahead of you. Oh, well, we're going down, that's for certain. Elevator? There we go. To all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a schedule of your analysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Yeah, radiation is a problem in Black Mesa. Big, big problem. <laughs> oh, hi there. Hello. Hi, sir. I see you. I see you. Don't think I don't see you. We'll get to him later. That is a problem. Speaking of radiation... Alright. We're at the test labs. It's time to get into it, Stringworms. <laughs> it's him, George Mann. To your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Hey, buddy. Can we uh, get started on our shift, please? Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Looks like you're running late. Uh, just a tad. This train moves awfully slow. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Dude was locked out, like at the beginning of the facility. Yeah, must have finally caught up with. And speaking of which, this game just announced that it's going to be having a remaster of the Blue Shift DLC, which I'm really excited about. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're All right, we'll do, we'll do. I'll get to it. Hi there. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> The ponytail rocks. Uh, 
Oh gosh, this game looks so good. Anomalous hey, Materials, hey, Chapter I One. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about I don't know twenty minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Okay. Just one of those days, I guess. One of those we're days. Also having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. Yes, I want the hazard suit. The hazard suit slaps. Oh gosh, look at these 90s PCs. This gives me so much nostalgia. Uh, y y yes, sir. Alright. I don't have my HEV suit yet, so I can't even run. Warning! First things first, let's just explore the facility slightly. Hello, sir. I see that you're communicating with my associates. Can you please not do anything sussy? That would be, uh, excellent. <laughs> An audible muttering. You can't even hear what G-Man is saying. Sector B. Got the Hi. wrong air like Mr. Freeman. Yeah. Well, no, I can't let you through here. Sorry, I had to go see the G-Man thing. Ooh. Yeah, I saw you looking at me. Oh, God, it's so creepy. The additional details they added to this game to increase, like, the depth of the intrigue is so good. No smoke. I oh, this place. Come on, y'all. Morning, champ. Just let me take a load off. <laughs> I, I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. Your, your, your stuff is cooking. What the hell? Mmm, soda. You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? <laughs> we will never hear the end of this. Yes, soda. Let's make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was um, that was you know who's lunch. Oh, that was the director's lunch. Ooh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, locker room. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties. It's it's fashionable. It's fashionable. Okay, there's my HEV suit. All right. Welcome We're equipped. To HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Yes, I gotta find Doctor Coomer's locker. You're absolutely right, Ray. Here's my locker. Get some armor, got our PhD, oh baby. Ooh, the beats. Beats. Minor emergency. What's up, buddy? Dude, you good? Uh, roll of toilet paper. Okay, I got you, bro. Uh, hello. Hello. I got Somebody you, buddy. Give me some toilet paper. I got you. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Get cleaned up, buddy. We got you. We're teamwork here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now, where's Dr. Coomer's locker? Ah, uh, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Let's see if there's any we can open here besides Freeman. I know there's some that open later. I'm not sure if Dr. Coomer has a locker in this one, because these are all the uh, the dev names, I believe, apart from Freeman. Oh, Avell. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. All right, now we can run. Newman. All right, that's locked. Yes, it is unfortunate that we cannot coom in this game, Ray. Hey, buddy. Go right on through, sir. Can do. Thanks for the scan. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Greetings, Doctor Freeman. Hello. 
All right, down we go. Oh, look at these sturdy elevators. Don't we love good integrity in our infrastructure? So sturdy, so durable. Yeah, sure hope nothing wacky and unusual happens. That would be a pain. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's Fluctuations? Hmm, whatever you say. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Uh, yes, yes, science Double terminology. Check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Uh, yes, superluminescent diodes, absolutely. What's up, Doc? Hey. It's our boys. The science team. Hello, Gordon. Hello. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Yeah, I know I'm we here. I'm sent late. The sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105% bit of a gamble, but we need to You the touch the spectrometer? The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Oh, I'm sure he is. To some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the, in the test, test chamber. chamber. <laughs> right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Thank you, Dr. Klein. I think that's his name. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played Half-Life 2. He has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Eli, where are you, buddy? Hey, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Morning, Eli. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, uh, okay. I take a second, drink my coffee, and something explodes. What's going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Yeah, we're tr we're trying There's to open temporal rifts here in time and space. Nothing to worry about. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Uh, sure. Y'all be safe. Spinny elevator. This could take a bit longer than I By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Well, I'm glad I have a suit to counteract that. You know, this is the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. I, I get that feel, buddy. Working on a machine where really all you have to do is press a button. It's a pain, isn't it? Makes that degree feel like it wasn't worth anything. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Yeah, the train was slow today. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Uh, yes, okay. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. Well, and that's potentially good. The most unstable. That's no, not good. If we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. <laughs> I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly, highly trained, trained professional. professional. I know, yeah. We the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, yes, anyway, agreed, Ray. I prefer opposing forces in. over uh, blue shift, so I really hope that they do opposing force. Yes, we, we will follow the standard insertion procedures of basically pushing a shopping cart into a hole. <laughs> Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Yeah. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. 
The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Cool. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, way out of ya. Way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to eighty percent, then hold it there until the carrier arrives. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm ready to do science. I am part of the science team. I am ready to science. Oh, look at that science shit go. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Okay. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. I'm seeing good shadow effects. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Uh, whatever you say, boss. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Hey. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds again. Uh, would you care to elaborate? I'm the one inside the spinny electricity room. The sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Uh, cool. Go to the delivery system for your specimen. I'm here. Can we science, please? I'd really like to science. Ooh, science. Ooh, shiny. Shiny and vibrating. Standard non-standard specimen. All right. Let's push our shopping cart of science. I'm away from the things. Oh no! Oh, fellas, that sucks. Well, chat, uh, this is a problem. Who could have foreseen these consequences? Uh, 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 oh boy, we're going into negative. Oh, damn. Oh, if only I brought my passport. Oh, a good version of Zen. Look at it. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. Look at these bull squids just chilling. Hey, Vortigons. Um, hi. Yeah, I know. I'm a we I'm a weird flesh ape, encroaching upon your dimension. Unforeseen consequences. Let's get into the real Half Life. All right, time to escape. So it begins. You do those compressions. You do those compressions. Any goodies I can pick up here? I want to get my hand on a Glock stack. I'm going to grab. Nope. One thing out of this game, actual physics interaction like in Half-Life 2. Love to see it. Really adds to the depth of the interactability. This hey, fellas. I, I tried to warn you. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. <laughs> it's me. Thank God for that hazard suit. Mm -hmm. All the faults are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. Bummer. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. Uh, sure. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <gasps> Wind. When you get him, can't afford to waste time. 
Okay. Need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. Uh, yeah, sh God sure. Sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. Oh, this you thing is like affixed to my body at this point. All right. Good luck, Eli. Tell your hot daughter I said hi. Okay. Uh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that's goopy. Oh, that is goopy. That would be a head crab zombie, something I intend not to become. Did I miss the crowbar? I think I missed the crowbar. Well, that's locked now. I guess I didn't miss the crowbar. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just coming through. Just coming through. Yeah. Uh, hi. There's, dude, there's a lot going on here. I don't have time for this. Excuse me. Ooh. Crowbar Sama? Okay. Yeah? Uh... Uh, I, I, well, I mean... I, I'm a physicist, not a technician. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not the best. Okay, well, moving on. Sup? Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? Yeah, don't ask me. Because they the science team. Uh, buddy, there's one coming. Can you shoot it, please? Hey, head crab zombie, can you sneak attack him so I can get That's that Glock? Child time's over. Come on, come on. Oh, buddy, come on. Hi. Keep moving. Currently, my only defense is flares. Boop. Boop. Oh, no, it's out. Excuse me. Coming through. I would really like to find my way, my melee weapon, please. First, let's head into this area. See if we can grab anything from these lockers. Nothing in my locker. Hi there. Um, kind of preoccupied at the moment, searching for supplies. Charger empty, charger empty, not good. Whoop. I'm gonna move along post haste. Ooh. Hi, uh, yeah, y'all are a problem. Excuse me. Ow! You threw a trash can at me? Rude. Rude. Yeah, the sound design for the zombies is fantastic. I really feel like I missed the crowbar somewhere. Do we really have to wait this long to get it? Because I thought it was by the door that we initially went through. Hey, Cleo! Thanks for joining us in our uh, lovely workday at Black Mesa Research Facility. Welcome to the company. Did 
something happen to that security guard? No, you're still here. Okay, I'm going back down. I require crowbar. But first, let's pick up this energy pack. Yeah, just a normal shift at Black Mesa. No abnormalities here. So I could have swore you picked up the uh, crowbar right here. Maybe that's only in the original version, though. Let's keep her eyes peeled. Turn on my flashlight for better visibility. Flashlight, hello. Crowbar, hello. This might be a waste of time, but I don't want to accidentally miss our main melee weapon. Now we're back in here, and this is locked unless... Yeah, that's just big fucking lock. Okay, because we just don't get it this early. Let's make our way back. Oh, hi, head crab. I already have a head crab on my noggin. I don't need additional assistance from our crustacean-y friends. I guess we just get the uh, crowbar at a later time and date. There we go. In the meantime, up we go. I am going to do a quick double check of what my quick save button is. Input... Mm, bindings, there we are. Uh, miscellaneous... Quick save is F2. Okay, good to know. Hi. No gay jump scares today, sir. I apologize. The last thing I want is crabs. Fellas, fellas, that is a lot to deal with when I'm just little old me. In we go. Okay. Yeah, Cleo, my, my first exposure to Half-Life was actually the, um, the PS2 port. Oh, there is our weapon. There it is. Let's get it. Just had to wait for a little bit longer. I had to be a patient snack to get my melee weapon. But yeah, I actually, um, when I was a young Gorgon, I saw the, uh, oh gosh, head crab. I saw the advertisement for this game, I believe in... PC Gamer Magazine, just when I was like at the library going through stuff, what my parents were doing. They're searching for literature. And I saw the whole, the, the title of this video, the Run, Shoot, Survive, Live, or whatever. I, for, I already forgot. I'm too busy trying to survive at this moment in time. But I thought it was very interesting in the fact that it looked so, uh, in depth. <laughs> oh, buddy. But, you give me this wonderfully rendered Gen 2 Glock 17. This thing is so cool. Look at the wear on it. It'll look better once we're in better lighting. You can actually see the, uh, paint scheme on it. Best generation of Glock until the Glock Gen 5 came around. That is for certain. And that is not a personal opinion, that is a fact. Screw Gen 3 and 4 with their silly finger grooves. You okay, buddy? I think you're big dead, that's unfortunate. Oh, these... 
files burst. Alright. Let's crowbar to work. Up. Okay. Can't go through there. That's nothing. So. Shimmy it. Uh. We good? Uh, we're not good. Going down! Ow. Uh, oh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Ugh. Okay. Now, what can we pick up in here? Nothing of use to us? Anything in these boxes? You never know. If you see a box, you smack it in Half-Life. Nothing. Uh, fellas? Fe fellas! Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, that's unfortunate. To be or not to be, that is the question. Yeah, I'm not sure about Black Mesa's fixation with empty boxes, but they, they do seem to be quite proud of their box collection. Hey, Barnacles, can I just get through here without being, uh, chomped? Where'd you put that barrel? Uh, well... Blech. Gross. Hi. Yeah, I know you're observing. You're leading me by the nose to my location. <laughs> yes, the ropes have appeared, Ray. This is indeed a series of unfortunate events. I would pay to read an adaptation of Half-Life written by Lemony Snicket. That would be hilarious. I'm sorry, Hound Eyes. I'm sorry. Y'all are... You're kind of cute in a pug sort of way, but I hate your trypophobia-inducing eyeballs. Alright, can I jump in here? Yeah! Get a little inkling of health. Save. And move onward. But I can't get through there, so down we go. Our first time crawling through ventilation and ductwork. Oh boy. We're going to be doing that a lot in this game. <laughs> oh, g Mata Ragdolls, how I love you. Exactly, Cleo. I, I'm glad we are kindred spirits and our hatred for finger groove grips. Finger grooves a suck. Straight while the pistol grips are the way. Spin to activate. Okay, we good? Hopefully that'll melt all that ice. And allow to... Oh, oh, hi. Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. Yeah? There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. All right, Perhaps sounds a good. More oh, the, the splatter on the gun. It's so good. We, we coming? Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. All right, let's go. If you got access to uh, things that I can use, that would be most beneficial to my survival. You heading this way? Okay, headcrab's down.
Yes, can we get in here, please? Sweet. Alright, more ammo. Grenades. Pog. Well, at any rate. Yeah, at any rate, you're at least in a place that is somewhat safe. So take what you get. Uh, same, but I got so much more ahead of me. Oh, no, 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 I got to get to work. Disaster response discretionary, you know. Okay, can't go through there. Alright, so up and over. So I forget, I know there's something we gotta do here. I thought it was this direction. Maybe it's another way. So we activated both the valves. Alright, yeah, that one's activated as well. Uh, mayhaps. But for the time being, I just need to get my bearings on where I'm actually heading. Do I need to head back down here? Yeah. Eh. Check our corners. There's always head crabs and other nasties lying in wait as such. You, sir, can you, uh, refrain from doing as such? Yes, we, we can indeed blame George Man. Alright, do your thing. Hola. More ammo. I want to double check real quick before we get too deep into things if there is a quick grenade button. Because I forget. One second here. Combat. Secondary. Flashlight. Suit. Zoom. No, we need to manually select our grenades. Old school style. Which is fine. So what is my grenade? Um, five. Five is grenades. Okay. Commit that to memory. Five, four grenades. Hi. It is me indeed. Ow. Oh, shit. You can come out. Oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Okay, never mind. Stay in there, please. Well, that is inactivatable. Well, if you're coming up there, uh, I'm just going to go down here, thanks. Whack these barnacles. No, 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 no. No, leave me alone. I'm in the sewers. I want to be left alone. these barnacles before we raise the water level make our life a little bit easier what do we got here grenades ammo a med kit love to see it Alright, cool. Sweet. No game is complete without a sewer level, and Half-Life has uh, a few sewer levels. We need a, a wheel to activate that. There it is. That is a skull. That's a wheel. Okay. Just lift me up. Come on, Gordon. 
Uh, buddy, you good? You just enjoying the dripping from that pipe? I, I'm sorry for interrupting, but... <laughs> I have places to be. I have places to be and things to do. Yes, I like to imagine there is a universal sewer count for when everyone complains about sewer levels. Civi manages his own, but there is one collective sewer count for all gamers. Okay, finally got something from a box. Oh, ragdolls are going to make me chuckle throughout this entire playthrough, I guarantee it. Alright, well fine, I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Let's save first. Okay, maybe not. Well, I guess we have to take the roundabout way. I'll be around about. Go through vents and get out. Alright. So, what do I need? Let's pull this breaker. A chunk. Charger is empty though, which is not fun for us. Now we'll save and head down. Okay. I forget whether or not we can cheat the system in this version of the game. In original Half-Life, you can just slide down the edge. I think they removed that from this remake. So we just gotta fight, <laughs> fight the headcrabs properly unless they yeet themselves off. Y'all, can you chill? Little buggers. Little rascals. Come here. That's a lot of boys. Bye. Ow. Come here. Come here, I'm waiting for you. Come here. Come here, buddy. Put your out of the way. Oh, more. Bonk. It was your butt. Bonk. Okay, healing station. Perfect. Get a bit of a recharge. Sweet, full charge, excellent. So, from here, anything down here that I can get my little mitts on? Nope, just agua and debris. Nothing. That guy's having a bad time, we'll get to him in a second. Y'all being stingy with your... Okay, well, I say we're being stingy with the drops and I get ammo, so I guess I can't complain. More ammo. Excellent. We have over 100 rounds of 9 mil. Round eyes. Unfortunate. Even more unfortunate. Which means I have to platform. Thankfully, platforming in this game is a lot easier than the original. Because as much as I love and admire original Half-Life for being a trendsetter and a turning point in video games, it do be a bit jank at times. Just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Can drop down there. But what if we check what's over here? Hey T, thanks for dropping by. Yep, well, we're doing our darndest to survive the Resonance Cascade.
Yeah, jank in an old game, I would never. I'm sorry, bull squid. I'm sorry. Look at that head crab getting <laughs> taken by the barnacle. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. He's gonna get nommed. He's gonna get nommed. Oh, poor little guy. Right, well, let's uh, be very cautious with our traversal through here. I want to find out where the ladder is first. Uh, oh, looks like we have to go under there to go, like curl around to that door. So let us do so. Yeah, the, the good jank of original Half-Life is the ragdolls. The, the bad jank is unfortunately the wonky platforming and crouch jumping. But this game kept the wonderful ragdolls and improved the platforming, so we love it for that. You stand down, you, you're just T-posing in death, good for you. Any survivors? Guess not. Sorry about that bull squid. Yes, a funny sounds as well. This is a magnificent remake. I'd put this up here with um, Resi 4 Remake and Dead Space Remake, absolutely. You can stop. Right, no HEV stuff, that is unfortunate, but we will continue along our way. Yeah, I've never actually played a MechWarrior game, Cleo, but I do have a kind of similar experience in the PS2 game ATV Off-Road Fury. If you reach the edge of the map, it just yeets you into the distance instead of teleporting you back. It just sends you on your way like, no, get the fuck out of here. It's so funny. It'd be great if I could get that running on an emulator and play it on the channel. Because that was the first game I ever owned for the PS2. I guess we can't go in there, so I guess we'll just have to uh, do our platforming. So let's do a save. The okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Ah! Damn it! <laughs> I bumped the- oh, that's- is that where it auto-saved me? You're shitting me, that's where it auto <laughs> it auto-saved on me dropping? Oh, that is- <laughs> that is awful. So, uh, F5? That's- that's better. That is why we quick save. That is why quick saves are a thing. Shit. <laughs> This carefully, we don't really even need to dash for those big ones, or the little ones, it's the big ones we need to dash for. Let's just be careful, walking amongst the chains. There, much better. Nothing. Stingy, stingy, stingy. Clipped and autosave, good. We appreciate y'all doing your clipping. Okay. Sweet, so we're on the other side. That's locked. Uh, yeah, explosions. 
Rapid fire. A very interesting feature of this game with the uh, right click instead of being a zoom in to aim down the sights is just rapid fire. Very interesting. Less accurate, but uh, volume of fire can sometimes be the answer at close range. Over here. All right, let's be on our way. Now that we're in the elevator, we can actually see the detail on the gun, like the, the abrasions on where it actually locks up with the slide on the barrel shroud. Or on the locking portion of the barrel, rather. Hi, guys! Uh, oh, but... Oh. <laughs> it's supposed to be tragic, but the, the ragdolls are so funny! Well, can't grab that. Can't go over that. That is uh, unfortunate. Well, uh, let's go through here. Get in the ductwork proper. Yeah, the only thing complex about this office is navigating the ventilation system. Ammo, good, high, you not? Yes, armor, armor, that's what we want, that is what we need. Okay. Now let's head up top side, get to the other room. You goblin guys up. Oh, Gordon. Hi. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Well, I can understand the panic. Everybody's heading for the surface. Uh they're crazy. Yeah. If we stay put. Someone is bound to come and rescue us. Well, uh... come, yes, rescue. Uh... Doubt. Yeah, about that. Destruction of property. Thank you, Tempered Glass. Ooh, music. Let me know if the music is a bit too loud for the for you stringworms. Because it's kind of loud for me. So it might be really loud for stream. signals are flaring pinch loud okay let's do a minor adjustment then because it is kind of loud for me as well yeah i already have it turned down slightly so let's bump that down to like 75 and see how it goes yeah, a little more audio 65 that's a bit better oh hi hello You get back here. Yeah, the sound design is top tier, Cleo. Playing this with headphones is so nice. Because the directionality of it all is very accurate. Hey, buddy! One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. 
Yeah, about that. Okay, problem solved. Give me a shotgun. I owe you one. Yes, you owe me a shotgun. Let me get this open. Thank you. I uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look, see, see what you can carry. That I will do. Thank you. Do we get a shotgun? Yes. First, health energy. Oh, Frunky Spaz 12. Give me that shit. The, the, oh, don't get me started on the fire bolt barrels. The alt fire on this thing is so weird. That is not an additional barrel under there. That is the magazine tube valve. I'm not sure what you were thinking. But this is a top tier shotgun, despite its uh, secondary fire being a bit unusual. Hi. All right, I'm ready. You coming with me? Sick. Let's do this. Health. Don't really need that. I will quick save though. Armor. Can you not? I just got armor. Yeah, I I'm glad that they didn't make the uh, the NPCs' faces like super duper realistic, because it still maintains that Half Life aesthetic of like the proportions being a little bit exaggerated and cartoony. It keeps the spirit of the original game while still improving the texture overall. So where am I heading again? We might have to head back. Yeah, I think we're just heading back up. I will actually, nope, I will grab this head pack since that. You, we should get going soon. Yeah, I'm working on it. I wanted to grab that. Alright, let's go. Here comes more of those things. Serve ammo with amazing melee weapon. That is the plan for now. Nice, uh, uh, well, I mean, I guess technically a thwack is a shot, but, uh, appreciate your compliments yeah, of my me melee out. accuracy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, more ammo. Love to see it. How much ammo do I have now? 150, okay. Or 167, if we count this magazine. <clears throat> well, Doc, got any ideas? Uh, we're gonna have to find another way around. You know, I would shoot every damn lock in this place if I knew they wouldn't just take it out of my pay. <laughs> right? But we can break windows. Unfortunately, electricity on the floor is not great. Ow! Ow! Yeah, you hang out. Okay, shimmy our way through here as carefully as possible. If we curl around, we can get something in there. Secrets for later. Uh, that works. Hey, buddy. All right, duck. Let's tear some shit up. I hear hound eyes. Whoop whoop. Bring it on. My bad, Doc. You're good, you're good. Oh! Oh, there's a ladder there. Okay, I was like, thought I was getting grabbed by a barnacle. First, I want to see what's in here. Any goodies? Reload, Dr. Freeman. I should reload. I have six rounds. That's not too bad. That's revolver capacity. So for wishful thinking. If you're a revolver person. And we will get a badass revolver in this game eventually. Alright, we'll do. You stay safe. Oh gosh, the, the gunshots being louder in enclosed spaces is such a good touch. Uh, you might want to be careful. Yeah, about that. 
turrets. What is this? Aperture Science Laboratory? A turret. Can you get those? Thanks. That's great. I'm going to take a sip while you take care of that. You use your ammo. I'm going to conserve what I have. Even though I have plenty of reloads to my name. Okay. Quick save. Dash! Ow. Shouldn't have peeked. Curiosity got the better of me. Hey, buddy. Okay, I'm ready. All right, uh, just be careful. There's something bad that we're having to deal with over here. All right, you ready? Uh, might want to watch it. Where'd you go? Yeah, that was close. Ow! Okay, let's be cautious. Glad to see someone else made it in this mess. Yeah, well, there, there was. Uh, yeah, there's two of us. I heard screams up ahead. Yeah, that would. First. <laughs> I like that if you actually bring an NPC along, the other NPCs like actually talk to each other. It's such a good touch. Oh, so much thought went into this. You can tell they had so much love for the original. Uh, it's Counting the best bullets? that we got to work with at the moment. Sorry, Doc. No worries. Excuse me. Excuse. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. That's a big clock, and it's actually functioning. Okay. Well, nothing in here. So let's uh, make our way forward. Watch your head, Doc. No. 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 That does smart. Small damage, but they lacerate. They bouncy boys. Okay. Uh, guys. Oh. Yeah. Vent deaths are very cinematic, but always quite gross. Yeah. We should stick around. Oh, sorry, I'm just turning you into Sans Undertale at the moment. Let, let's move along, that was morbid. Power 80%. Hey. <gasps> science. Does make me look fat? Uh, no, sorry, I was distracted by science, but you look gorgeous. Your mustache is wonderful, if a little bit wider than your mouth. But apart from that, you, you got the fit, you got the look, you're doing good, buddy. Vortigon time! Pop off our shells. Love the little eye trails that they gave the Vortigons. Hello. There a doctor in the house. Uh, well, I am a doctor, but not in medical science. I apologize. I got my PhD in theoretical physics. Physics. Not even confirmed physics, just theoretical. Okay, we should watch our capacity on the shotgun for now. We only got a tube and two rounds remaining. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, one less of us. Excuse me while I take your sidearm. Excuse me. Yeah? Well, uh, I think we're done in this area because we can't go through here. So, let's make our way further in this away. Ow. You like that? Huh? Good shot, buddy. Mm, not through there. More ammo? Yes, more shotgun ammo, even better. Let me get out of your way. Like that? 
Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Helps to have an NPC along for the ride. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, Zen, if this uh, remake of the DLC actually ends up being paid DLC or if it'll just be added, because I wouldn't mind paying for it in this case since it's a small group project. They're coming to rescue us. Uh, yes, rescue us. Yeah, rescue. My, my ammo's fine. I have 12 rounds out of 17. My ammo is fine. I know my Glock mag capacity. How's your ammo, Doc? It's fine! <laughs> right now I have 10 rounds, which is California capacity. Not that I like that, but it's enough. And kill the turrets. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, being shot tends to cause blood loss. Thanks, HEV. Okay, more ammo. Yes, at least Aperture Science has cute turrets that shoot the entire bullet, casing and all, at you. <laughs> Because Cave Johnson is an interesting man with interesting ideas of how uh, firearm technology functions. More bullet for your bullet and all that. Hi. Still doing down here? Get topside. I'm working on it. I, I saw your twin Who's earlier. He's dead, service? which is unfortunate. The troops are coming to save us. Big air quotes, IRL. But before we go this way, I'm going to head around here. Yeah. There's goodies down here. Ortagons, can you chill, please? Ow. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Ammo, goodies. It would be interesting if there was an alternate reality where Cave Johnson was part of Black Mesa. I wonder what he would have been like in terms of all this stuff going down. Well, that fan is pushing me good, so we can't go up there, really. What if we do this? Okay. Dash jump and go into the vents. Let's save real quick in case we drop down somewhere. Slowly make our way through this. You're absolutely right, Zen. He would have tried to turn uh, head crabs into some sort of delicacy. Head crabs with a little bit of lemon. Oh, well, shit. would probably end up being a spicy dish being uh, lemon grenades and all. But I'd give it a shot. Uh, oh gosh, we must need to just run across that because I keep bonking my head on the ceiling. But y'all know I'm going to have crab when I go to the coast the week after next. I miss seafood so much. Gonna get me some crab, get me some shrimp. It's gonna be delish. I keep fucking this up. But we have zero armor, so I want these armor pickups. <clears throat> oh, there's a pipe above us, that's why. Okay, so maybe if we go like this. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Go over here, jump, boop boop, and there's a gun. 
but are we currently at max ammo? Yeah, 150. Wow, we are maxed out on our ammo. Yeah, I, I like shrimp, but I'm not honestly the biggest fan of lobster. It just tastes really dry and, like, kind of gamey to me. Which is weird, considering that it's a, an oceanic creature. But I agree, crab is supreme. Yeah, and, and these, these vents are very good at carrying the weight of a man in a massive armored suit, considering it's made of sheet metal. <laughs> Cleo, do, do my best J.K. Simmons impression. Cave Johnson here. Bad news on the head crab bisque. We have a postponed indefinitely from the cafeteria's menu. You could thank Ocean Inspector Cleodore for the allergy regulation. Damn FDA! That is a drop. Oh, yeah, about those vents and their durability. <laughs> yeah, that, that, it was just Detective Gumshoe. Phoenix, give me photos of Spider Man. Okay. Well, uh, this looks pretty clear except for the noises I hear coming from that area. Reload. Reload! Come on, Gordon. Blocks aren't that hard to reload. They have a good flared magwell on them. Actually, the uh, Gen 2 Glocks, I don't think they had drop-free magazines because those mags didn't have the steel liners in them yet. They were just simply polymer. So it might actually be a case of... Oh, no, they drop out in-game, so I don't know what your excuse is, Gordon. Nothing over here. Nope, just dead bodies in the distance. Yes, I hate the reminder this is a no-smoking zone. Ah, well, That is a durable... <laughs> it doesn't turn off on me plowing a 9 mil straight through it, but me bumping the table, that turns it off. <laughs> yeah, Gordon is a nerd, not a firearm expert, but damn does he become proficient with firearms. <laughs> Cola Bola, Alpine High, uh, Root the Grape. Interesting, a very interesting non-copyrighted soda selections that they have in Black Mesa. Why not Bepis, though? I want a good, refreshing suck of some Bepis. Give me Bepis! That's not Bepis. He did drink it, though. I heard that noise. Yeah. Hi. I know y'all were having a uh, lovely meal, but I'd really want that uh, health pack. You can go down. Uh, Black Mesa can't afford Bepis. Unfortunate. No high quality, high fructose corn syrup bullshit in Black Mesa. Just the cheap stuff. Hydration. One, one second, lady. Alrighty. You doing good? I, I thought I'd be protected in here. I mean, you had a good idea. Safe haven from these abominations? Uh, no, not exactly. Still locked. An event up there. I see you. Alright, up we go with this cool sci fi ambiance in the background.
Boom Candy. Boom Candy is a great name for a shotgun cartridge company. <laughs> Boom Candy. It's actually, how much shotgun ammo do I have currently? 42, okay, almost max. I think 50 is the maximum. That a smack. Oh wow, you had good reach there. Well, that's unfortunate, but more uh, shotgun ammo is greatly appreciated. Something narrowly happened there. All right, we need to find a way to get this over here. Hi, bull squid. Got your glowing shit on my gun. Yeet. There's the earth-shattering kaboom. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah it's boom candy, but the cinnamon variant, that's Dragon's Breath. <laughs> it's not magnesium, it's just cinnamon. Let's get this over, see if we can align it properly first try. Yeah. It's pretty close. Yeah, a little bit over. Can you not? That's better. No worries then, enjoy getting your food. Get your noms. <laughs> Mint for the white phosphorus shells, Cleo. Uh, ooh, that that that's incredibly spicy. That's spicy in a different factor. God, it just makes me think of that game Spec Ops: The Line. The, the white phosphorus scene in that game is just mortifying. Okay, well, let's meander our way over to that pathway that we've opened up. Look at them jiggly hooks. Alright, cool. We are out of the freezer. Low on armor, but decent on health, all things considered. High. I hear zombie groans. Oh, Zambos. We're not playing Left 4 Dead right now. I see you up there. Uh, Mr. Headcrab, you weren't very, uh, weren't being very stealthy there. Hey, Nyx. Thanks for joining us. <gasps> that's awesome, Nyx. Oh, that, that's great that they got that on your passport. That's wonderful. I recently, um, just started looking into getting my name legally changed, but it is quite a process, so we shall see how long that takes. Alright, well, I know you're up here, Mr. Headcrab. Where are you, though? Did you scurry off? Hello? You waiting around the corner to jump scare me? Yep. Oh, you had a friend, too. Apologies for interrupting your vent party, but I need to go. Okay. Okay, y'all are good. You got a shotgun, though. I want to pick that up. Freeman. Hey, Lord fellas. Heavens. You gave me quite a scare. Yeah, I know. I jumped in from a Don't vent. Count on the cavalry finding us down here, Doc. Yes, my entry was indeed sus. But with all the elevators out of order, we can still climb. 
All right, well, before we climb, let's go through here. All right, so this is back in the um, cafeteria area, so we just did a big old loop. So let's go this way, gentlemen. Ow! Oh! One more. Oh, Porter Guns! Oh, hi. Well, you were casual about that, weren't you? Uh, sir, you got some red on you. Guess that means I'm playing babysitter. Uh, yes, please please do your work as babysitter. It'd be most appreciated, but I see the shotgun and I want ammo. Um, oh, 58. So actually, it appears our max capacity is 64 plus 8 in the tube. Okay. I remember this jump. Hup! Oh, got it. Uh, Help. well, I don't want you, sh you're, you're gonna fall, buddy, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this to you, there. Less misery is better than a splattering on the ground way down there, you're going to fall anyway, it's for the best. Buckshot is a quick death. And, okay, Care Gordon, careful, careful, buddy. Before we go in that elevator, I want to check what's down here. Okay, okay, that just loops around. Yeah, I haven't actually played Buckshot Roulette yet. I saw it on Steam Sale, but I, ha I didn't pick it up. Alright, loading in. We've got hostiles. Oh boy. It's time for the game to take the gloves off. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh, it's unfortunate. You fought it, though. You fought it. A dump. Yeah, that's. It's not great. Are these not... I thought we could shoot these. Do I have to throw something in those? Hmm. Well, in the meantime, we are low on armor, so let's recharge. I'm not going to use all of this. We are going to be heading back this direction, so I'll leave like half. There. Big save. Yeah, I know you're you're kind of caught in there now, Mr. Security Zombie. It's unfortunate, but uh, you do you. Enjoy your time there. No, I forget. I'm gonna save real quick because I think these activate turrets. Yeah, that's what those do. Ow! That was unfortunate. At least it knocked over the turret. That's gonna blow. Right. Oh, geez, we only have nine rounds and a mag, so that's, uh, oh, boy. Switch to crowbar. So now at this point, there, so we have last mag and then just two rounds remaining after that. One for the chamber and one for ourselves. Ugh, let's uh, break out the shotgun. I should be more liberal with my shotgun usage. 
It is our primary weapon. Okay, those are the evil ones that you need to shoot. Yeah. Oh, please tell me I can actually crouch under this. Okay, we're good. That is why Gordon trimmed off the ponytail. Don't want that extra height causing issues. Alright. Shotgun putting in work. Can I get my hands on some ammunition in the uh, cafeteria? That would be real neato. Sir, from you? Yes. Ammo and health. Pog. Sorry to have anything? Nope. Okay, let's be on our way. Yeah, I'm just gonna... That'll do. Can I... I forget, can I get through here? <laughs> cling, 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 clang. Let's just close this. Let's close that. No, no, it doesn't stick. Okay. Well, uh, turrets were taken care of. That is good. But, but, you guys trying to sneak attack me. <clears throat> okay, took care of yourself on that one. Reload. Up here? No? Okay. I do see that box over here, though. Nothing. Fine. Okay, you're not. No, 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 no. God, y'all do so much damage. All right, I'm going to need to run for it because this turret's going to activate. Can I pick you up? Ah, I can't pick it up. What? Oh, there was one there too. <laughs> Unfortunate. You were just chilling here in the corner. I didn't even see you. All right, let's be quick with it. Okay. Good God, indeed. I ran through that. Uh, it is the opposite of safe, for, unfortunately. Don't go that direction. That's bad. Uh, I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. That's a good plan, buddy. One second here. Before I quick save, I want to make sure I have a way through this area that doesn't involve this. Um, well, uh, hey, can you... Uh, I'll watch your back. Sure, can, can you walk through there, please? It, 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 you'd be doing me a real favor. Uh, let's grab this. Oh, it doesn't activate it. All right, can I crouch? Ooh, okay. Hi, G-Man. Oh, boy, the military's arrived. Oh, joy. Yes, more handgun ammo pog. Perfect. Pop this off. Uh, not much else in here. Well, upstairs we go. Let's follow G-Man, which is what he wants. Shoddy ammo and armor. Good stuff. jump on this guy. Got him. Okay. I think... Can I get down there? Yeah, I can get down. I think he dropped his MP5. Yep, I see it right there. I want an SMG, and I want it now. But first... Yeah, shotgun. Are we topped off currently? We are at max ammo on the shotgun. Okay. Anyone gonna try and pull a fast one? Guess not. All right. H and K MP5. We got an SMG with an underbarrel grenade, eh, grenade launcher. 
which is wild for a submachine gun. Grenades. Alright, up we go. How much ammo? So we currently have 111. Alright, yep, that runs off of our pistol ammo. So we're probably not going to see much of the pistol anymore. Save and get down to business. Buddy, hey, whoa, chill. Get the health on that man. Okay. I think we're clear. I'm definitely gonna make use of all of this. Now that we have enemies with projectile weapons, we wanna make sure our uh, armor is topped off as much as possible at all times. What game do I think has the best models? Uh, ooh, interesting. Um, Tarkov has incredible model work. I've never played much of Tarkov, though. I've only seen gameplay of it. Um, I also just purchased the game Ready or Not on Steam Sale, which I bought specifically because it looks like it has incredible modeling and gunplay. So um, I might end up playing, be playing that on the channel because it's kind of horror-oriented, though, because it's very tactical shooter-esque. So, like... Bullets do big real-time damage, so like one or two rounds and you're done. So it'll be a very difficult proposition and kind of terrifying to play as you like clear and sweep a area for hostiles. But in terms of, I'm trying to think of other games. Um, if we're talking classic firearms, even though I don't really like the game that much, Red Dead Redemption 2 has some amazing uh, classic... Americana weapons. Am I stuck? Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> oh, I was doing my best. I was trying to take care of him. Just take this, please. Can you can you take? Takeies, thank you. Ow. It worked, though. But, uh, even this game has good models. Like, I'm a big fan of this model of the Glock. Like, it looks amazing. The Spaz 12 looks awesome. It does have this kind of weird Picatinny rail that isn't being used up top. It's very reminiscent of a Spaz 12, but not fully accurate. The, uh, H&K, the... MP5 is cool. It has the correct sighting system. And of course the uh, the forward charging handle, which you give the HK slap to charge. But apart from that, it's pretty unique looking, especially with the underbarrel grenade launcher. But nonetheless, the team did a very good job modeling the guns in this game. Okay, well, um, we need to go through there but first boxes, just to be safe. That's not happening. Okay, well, we can't go that way. But this way is heckin' dangerous looking, so let's save. Sector D's nuts. Oh shit! Uh, boom, ow. Worth it though. Guys, guys, I strongly recommend you. Yeah, don't do that. Short controlled burst, Pi. Short controlled burst. All 
are you? Where are you? Gordon's so dainty with the charging handle. You gotta give that thing a slap, Gordon. Come on, give us some pizzazz. Shit. That'll do. Fuck. Ow, okay, 27 health. That's not great. Thankfully there was a pack right there. Never been the biggest fan of all of our uh, primary weapons being on one button with both uh, the SMG and the shotgun sharing the number three. Whoa, RPGs! Okay, I'm moving. Guys, I have to get through here, please. Okay. Good health kit and ammo. Hi. Nice try. In the 70s? Okay, in the 70s. Just under 80, I'll take it. Uh, we're max ammo at the moment. Okay, love to see that. I wish we could carry more ammo for the um, SMG, but considering it's sharing 9mm with the uh, pistol, that kind of makes sense. Doing the whole diehard thing of our primary and our secondary sharing, sharing ammo. Uh, are we full on shotgun as well? We are. Okay, we are swimming in ammo. Well, let's just uh, leave the shotgun equipped for now, because we're going to be dealing with uh, hostiles. And wait for them to come to me. No, you come here. I'm taking cover. Fire the oh, they're trying to weed me out with grenades. painful, but we did it. There's more. Okay, get a different angle. Okay, risky bit of plate off. Had to get through there, though. The door was closing. Yep, we're getting lots of 9mm from the soldiers, so it works out. Once they come into play, ammo is plentiful. But it just means that we're dealing with ammo being sent our direction as well, which is uh, not the best. Shit. God, y'all's armor is ridiculous. Welcome back, Zen. And yes, happy 420 to all who participate in the Giggle Bush. I have cut down myself big time. I, uh, ever since starting HRT, I don't really need to rely on the Weedawana as a crutch to maintain happiness. But I still do like a little bit of an edible every now and then. But I, uh, quit vaping just for my health. Oh, that, oh. Oh, that base. Oh, that base, baby. Let's pop a save. Get serious. We're heading topside. Oh, the music goes so good. It's so... Oh. The air raid siren. Mm. Supplies, 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 health, yes. 
Cautious. That's a helicopter. Gonna blow? Okay. Y'all. Taking fire from somewhere. Ow! Fuck. Alright, let's go. Buddy! I shot that explosive barrel. Why did you die when I was up there? Ow, ow! Okay, we should probably just reload and make a bolt, a beeline straight for this uh, bunker here. Let's do that. Alright, let's go! Down we go. Coming for me? All right, ladder's broken. Good. Let's get the spicy top side. You fuckers. Ladder. Ow. Extreme vent crawling. Lots of loading. Load them set pieces. Uh, no, can y'all come down to my level, please? Is it? Did I go in a circle? Is this where I came from? This feels like where I came from. The fuck? Hold on, hold on, video game. I think something weird happened there. It must have reoriented me since I was moving into this area backwards. Okay, no items. All right, fine. Be that way. Hi, head crab. I'm just gonna pull this out preemptively. Come here. Make your jump. Make your jump. Fine. I'll just bullets. Something jumped on me. Hold 29 health to my name. Ow! Fucker, I'll throw something at you too. Overkill. It didn't even kill you. Oh, come here. It's silly. I get some uh, goodies that'd be really helpful for my survival. Oh fuck, alright. They whipped around and got me. Oh, back to action! Back to action! I'm 
stuck. I'm stuck. Freeman stuck. <laughs> ah. So silly. There. Okay. Let's be a bit more judicious with our uh, saving as we head forward. I'd really like to get my hand on some underbarrel grenades, but we haven't picked any up yet. Hey, nice Zen. Buckle in for a good time. Yeah, we do have more HP this time and some armor to our name, so I will take it high. Do not diminish my HP that I have, please. Please and thank you, little head crabs. I already have a head crab of my own. His name is Gregory, and I love him. Nope. Get your, get your barrels out of here. Love the bullets impacting the environment. Good stuff. Okay, well, let's not. Hello? Hello? There. Not aggro these guys. They don't know of my presence currently. Oh, you, you'll get your fighting back. No need to aggro. Just move along. More ammo. Let's reload. Hello. Well, so much for the government. Right? Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Yeah, not the best. Judging by your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? I I was just doing my job. If anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. Uh, sure, sure. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. Well, I'm sure we can get there on a rail. Ah. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere yeah. through here beyond the silo complex. If you can <sighs> okay. make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. R yeah, sure, right, yeah. You I'll trust them. I'll do my best. Trust all of us. Okay, it's time for on a rail chat. This mission can be a bit difficult. It is very tricky with this explosive placement. But first, blast pit. kind of funny that we're doing this mission on 420 because we have to fight plant. It is not give me the plant in this case, it is get rid of plant. Uh, yeet. Oh, that was a bad shot. Detected. 
Ew, bull squid goo. Oh, little bugger. Don't you dare. Lots of grenades. I need to use more grenades. They're being pretty plentiful with their grenades. I wish I had a quick slot. I wish I could just assign grenades to my middle mouse button. Actually, what does my middle mouse button do currently? Nothing. So, so, what if bindings, weapons, uh, frag grenade, can I not edit binding? Por que? Guess I can't edit binding. No, cancel. It wanted me to do crowbar. What I want to pick is a frag grenade. There we go. Edit binding, middle mouse button. Yes, okay, so now middle mouse button will at least pull out our grenades. I like that. Okay, cool. Mm, decommission. Oh, not decommissioned. Down we go. Yep, as much as we can have a quick swap in an old style game like this. Be nice if middle mouse button was just throw, but being able to simply pull them out will be beneficial in the long run. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay. More shotgun ammo. Health, but we're full on health. That is rare. Well, we're getting a taste of the rail system early. Can pick up while I'm here. Does not seem as such, so let's be on our way. Let us noom. Noom! Shifting into maximum overdrive. Bad spawn placement, buddy. All right, it's radiation time, chat. Hup. I think there's stuff up here. Yeah, if we head in here. Yes, toxic green goo, the only kind of goo. Ugh, and it is quite goopy. my Geiger counter ticking. We're not playing Fallout, at least not yet. With the announcement of the Fallout TV show, I was considering doing a New Vegas run next, or even Fallout 4 to an extent if it was modded. But I've been talking about Half-Life on the channel for quite a while now, so I wanted to break it out. And I'm very happy that it won the poll, as much as I did want to play Ready or Not and Sifu. That's reloaded. That is good. We can top this off with two rounds. Sweet. Warning. Hostile biological. Detected. Yeah. 
Oh, you, you did a spin there. What a good pop. That dog. Am I immune to toxic green goo since I can't actually perceive it that well? It's just goo to me, and I have been known to enjoy some goo. I am built different. I'm built stupid. <laughs> Ow. Overkill. Overkill. Hi. Must fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damn thing before it gets any larger. Yeah, yeah. Coughs followed by death. Oh, unfortunate. Um, hi, I'm just gonna take care of you in advance. Yeah. Oh, gross. Right on my helmet. Ugh. Or right on my face, actually. Gordon doesn't even wear a helmet. Yeah, uh... Bad... Bad stuff. Bad, uh, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Bye. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Just a slippery little snack. Hi. Be quiet. Uh, there's a ruckus happening. Uh, yeah, I can totally hear you, dude. I I'm very thankful for the subtitles right now. Okay, lots of grenades and C4. We got satchel charges. Okay, so this area is tricky. Because we need to uh, be good with our aim. Yeet. Okay, okay, okay. Got distracted temporarily. Yikes! Yikes! Eat. Ow! Ow! Let me through! Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, the vibe check! Okay, well, uh, hey, bull squid. Hey, bull squid. Bop. Well, you got some range on you there, buddy. You get over here, I have barrels for you. Buddy. Fine. Come here. Come here, little bull squid. Come here. You are a troublemaker, you know that? Jeez, what a waste. I had explosive bear boxes, boxes, not barrels, right here. You silly little goofy goober, you. Now my hands are covered in goo. Thankfully, goo despawns. <gasps> Look at the hound eyes. They're sleeping. Let's wake him up. Okay, there's some health and armor. Yeah, they're doing the big sleep now. Oh, 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 oh he disappeared. He went into the nether realms. Uh, highball squid. 
Can you, uh, eat this, please? That was a good throw. Yep, that was a good throw. Okay, I think I got my grenade arc down. You're right, Ray. It kind of does have that doop noise that the, uh, recentering the N64 Mario camera makes. Alright, we're at full health right now, but it's good that we have this, so let's just save at the health station. Bring up the elevator. But, since we're here... Yes, energy! Lots of energy. Did I'll just take that. Ooh, he tripped. Unfortunate. All right, cool. Elevator's here. Let's make our way down. Uh, only 21 rounds left in that, which means our... Yeah, we have 11 rounds left in the pistol, so we are maining the shotgun through here. Again, it need to be more... Uh, ready to use the shotgun. Oh, no! <laughs> I tried to make it to the ladder. There, yeah, there goes the elevator. I had the right idea. I had the right idea, chat. Good God, the subtitles say. Okay, take two. Hound Eye's gonna show up. Buddy boys? Maybe I need to press this first. I'm just gonna go over here. Wait for the elevator to come up, take a quick hydration. Oh, never mind, never mind, there's the hound eyes. Let's break out the shotgun, use some of the ammo that we have. Oh! Little pupper doing big borks. can jump on this. Okay, that makes my life a little bit easier. Yeah, so slowly descending until it accelerates to fast descending into the goo. Damn. Alright, well, uh, I'm here now, so let's do one of these. Safely get down to the goo level. Cross here. Hi, buddy. I hope no one expects me to go start up the generator. Right, well, I guess the it's Smithers on me then. And never came back. Well, Smithers is dead. You, however, are fine for now. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, we're good. Sweet. Okay, big old generator. Oh, shit. That was just me not being perceptive. You, however... Well, not Rady currently. Yeah, Smithers is now Smithereens. That would be accurate. That's probably Smithers right there. Hi, Smithers. Want to come along with me to finish your mission? Let's do it together, buddy. Let's just set you right here. We'll put you next to where your objective was. There we go. Good Smithers. This is my hiding spot. 
Oh. I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Okay, well, did you now see Smithers? Away. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Well, Smithers knows. Uh, posthumously, but he knows. Alright, get that thing set up. New power cell. Maybe. Don't forget to reload. I don't have much ammo to reload with right now. If I reload right now, I will have uh, 16 rounds. A whole 16 round doodles. Uh, bull squid, I see you in there. Ooh, lots of ammo, lots of grenades. Love to see it. Boop. Lowering. Alright, power's back on. Generator's taken care of. That is good, but we have more things to attend to. So we're just heading back up. Hi. You bounced on my noggin, you little bugger. Nope, we got Vortigons. Top this off. Hey, buddy. Excellent. Someone has restored all power. That would be me. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Okay, get to work on that. I got stuff to do. Time for the long climb back up. What a thrill. The darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. As I'm searching and I... Okay, song's done. No more Snake Eater. We'll get to that game eventually. So, the next objective. <laughs> yeah, right, the uh, Gmod-esque climbing animation where you're using only your feetsies to traverse is so funny. It's crazy what has been done with radioactive waste. My um, great grandma actually had some dishes that were infused with um, radioactive waste. And it was uh, quite interesting. We never ate off them, but she kept them in like her china collection. They were like plates and bowls from the 50s and they had this like weird kind of greenish blue tint to them. All right, so I'm gonna save. So we need to get up, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> no, my, my grandma, my great grandma was a lovely woman. I doubt she would ever use those. She, she just liked collecting old dishes and stuff from like when she was a kid. She grew up in the 50s, the atomic age. Oh. 
don't really need to take care of you guys. You guys are kind of haphazardly placed, so I think we're good. Hi, I will take care of you, though. And you. Buckshot from above. Are you still up, or... Okay. Now he's down for sure. Where are we heading next? We can't go around here, so I guess we are heading down somewhere. That's a bit uh, precarious, though. I see a ladder. Um, let's save, and then ladder? Okay, we're good. Down to the water we go. Sploosh. Any goodies down here? Nay, just water? Okay. Hi, bull squid. It's quite rude. Die. Die. Thank you. Back in the plumbing again. Wonderful. box before we head down the other direction. Nothing. Hi, um, one second. Proper weapon. Uh, you good? You having a seizure? Okay, he's fine now. boxes at me. Thanks for clearing the way, though. Okay, airlock is cycled. Um, right, we need to get up there, way up there. Well, that's broken. Hi. Uh, you have some shotgun ammo. Let's fully reload before we pick that up. Maximize the effect. That's a tad broken. Um, can we have an alternate form of transportation? Down works. Not optimal, but we can make it happen. Okay, this is, uh, not the best. I'm not a big fan of being under a massive fan blade. Okay, we made it out. Had to be quick with it. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Large spinning objects freak me out. Okay. Okay, power is activated, ventilation is running. I think we're good. Let's throw this in the fan, yeet. There it goes, it's working. It has ended very poorly for me in the past, especially in original Half-Life. Right, F2, I think we have to uh, go up. Yeet, yeah. Up we go. Hi. I wanna make my way over here. Oh my god, there we go. Head crab? Head crabs. Zzz. Plural. Uh, 
Uh, shotgun, please. Thank you. Anything up here before we go any further? I see all these boxes stacked up. No, just in a door that was blocked. Okay. Down we go. Nothing. More nothing. All right, fine. I'm on my way. I was hoping to get my hands on some goodies, but game is being stingy. You, I do not trust, sir. Yeah, I was wise in my decision. I saw that head crab get snatched. Oh, he, he got monched. He got big monched. Bonk. Okay, none of that really needs to be activated. Uh, sorry about that, Stumpy. I just need to get through here. Okay, we got this. Picked up some shotgun rounds as well. Love having armor. That is good. Let's open this up now. Right, we already went through there, actually, so we need to go through this way. A health station is also welcome, along with more shotgun ammo. Pog. Love to see it. Alright, let's make our way back. I will accept all the ammo that is thrown my way in this scenario. Uh, Half-Life is dangerous, to say the least. Let's uh, give you- OW! So fuck that, I'm just reloading. That was mean. I was not even out the door yet. Yeet. Running for it! Running for it! Yeet! Ah! Yeet, yeet, yeet. I can't get over! Come on! Ugh. Fire! Oh! Banger alert indeed! And they said no smoking in the facility. N nice predator reference. All right, refill our C4 and grenades. Well, we have an objective. Down we go. Okay, let's pop a save. Now down a long ladder. Ow! Uh, thanks. <gasps> thanks. Colt Python. Yes. Mm, very nice. Not the biggest fan of the Colt Python IRL. Yes, it is an absolutely aesthetically pleasing design, but I'm more of a uh, Smith and Wesson gal myself. But of course, I am biased. My grandpa gave me his Smith and Wesson 19-4, which was his service weapon. So I am absolutely biased. Uh, this guy got singed. 
Yeah, if I had the lyrics to Snake Eater, I would have sung it in reverse, but unfortunately, we'll have to do with just getting a new weapon. Alright, so where am I heading out again? Not there. Um, hmm. Snack requires an exit. I'm going to go down here again. Go past Mr. Plant, can you... Hello? Ugh, buddy. There. Let's go down here. Um... If we go around the side, do we pop out? Yes, that's what we want. Okay. Okay. We're now in a uh, toxic sludge refinery. Is some refined sludge. More importantly, we got a full refill. Yes. Well, not entirely full, but better than what we had. Alright, at least we have full health. We'll take it. up here. Oh, that's just where we came from. We could have just taken the ladder. But platforming on pipes is more fun. Actually, we probably need to get up on that pipe, drop down, and go across that one. So let's go up again. <gasps> that. That's why Black Mesa didn't have Mountain Dew in their uh, vending machines. They're making the Mountain Dew! It's a conspiracy, man! They were hiding the amp energy from us the whole time. That's what powers the HEV suit, amp energy drink. And that's why the, um... Bull squid slime hurts so much. They're shooting Mountain Dew Kickstart at us. Let's get this pipe over here. Get it sealed back up. Yeah, in this game's context, the Baja Blast is probably the Tau Cannon, but we'll get to that later. Sure, down I go. Bonk. Bonk. Ooh, we got mines. Okay. We can set traps now. Like a sneaky little freeman. Okie dokie. Probably only going to go for a little bit longer, Stringworms. I'm supposed to be going to a music festival with a friend tonight. But we have entered power up. So we'll see if we can uh, uh, finish this zone maybe and then maybe call the night. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, well, y'all deal with that. I'm gonna go over here. Bye! Have fun with that! Hmm. 
No power. Unfortunate. Well, uh, let's make our way around. Hi. Ah! Spicy. Oh, I landed on the head crab. Okay. Well, uh, we have flares. That is indications of life. Ooh! Okay, I think we're clear. Shot the railing. Uh, that's beneficial to me, not much so to you. There goes that flare. The edible has hit Pog. Enjoy the sweet embrace of the giggle bush. You don't know how close you would get one between your eyes. Yeah, with a 357, that would have hurt. Mister, if you can get the power on, that train down there will take us to the surface. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I would try myself, but it's a long way down to the generator room. Uh-huh. Things in the way. Yeah, uh, buddy, I'm really interested in that revolver you have. I currently have, let's see here. What, what, what key is my, um... Okay, so it's tied to two. Yeah, I only have a... I'm gonna have to sit this one out. Mind if you sit out permanently? You're kind of bleeding out already. I, no, I'd feel bad about doing it. I don't need the ammo that bad. Oh, there's a revolver right here. Oh, wait, are we maxed out on ammo? We're maxed out. I almost killed don't you over nothing. I'm sorry. Looks like you can this I almost yourself. jumped the gun on something a lot worse, buddy. I apologize. I, I was having diabolical gamer thoughts. Uh, hi. Okay, power is currently off. We need to power up to kill another big monster. Two big Come monsters back to back. Stay out of the big guy's way. I'm working on it. You should be fine. Okay, scurried across. head this way. Now we have the headshotting potential of the revolver. And this is a weapon that you can aim down sights on. Which makes me happy. Well, uh, looks like this isn't an option. Yeah, we're not heading this way. Okay. Dorn't. Go through here. Well, I guess we have to exit through the control room. So we do not have options this direction. There's also down here. Hi, little guy. Ow. Ah, uh, yes, the larger than average iron. We do not yet have a big iron, unfortunately. I don't think we get the Desert Eagle in uh, this version of the game. That's more of a opposing forces add-on. But Magnum will suffice. Yeah, Magnum will suffice. <laughs> Just a long reload time. Oh, revolvers. And this one is using moon clips, so it's even faster than usual. Ugh. I cannot imagine having to carry a revolver for defensive purposes. I'm glad semi-autos exist. That is more my speed. Do love the aesthetics of revolvers and the way that they uh, handle, but... Uh, okay. Did you have fun with that, Vortigons? Yeah, he's, he's bouncing around upstairs. Okay, let's get some energy running up in here. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, back down. Ow. It 
Exactly. Revolvers are kind of like sports cars. My favorite uh, revolver comparison is revolvers are like katanas. They have a lot of romanticism around them, but they're not the most effective weapon. Because with katanas, you're basically, basically stuck to using stabs and straight edge strikes, and they have very low durability on the edge of the blade. And with revolvers, you have very low capacity, and if that cylinder binds up, boy are you in a jam. It's like, revolvers don't jam. Uh, yeah, they don't have normal malfunctions, but if a semi-auto jams, all you have to do is rack the slide. If your revolver cylinder gets jammed up, that means there is something in the mechanism and you are blocked until you get that thing to a gunsmith. Oh, hi, fellas. I see you to join the party. Fire in the hole. You can play that game. I'm just gonna stay away from that. Yeah. Got your glowing hell gas eyes. There's a lot of you, uh, yeet. Don't mind me, just going down here. Yeah, exactly, Zen. That, that's the romanticism around revolvers and katanas. They, they were big mainstays of film in that era, and are just, like, regarded as wonder weapons. One slice the katana and blood goes spewing everywhere. One shot with a revolver and the guy spins and slaps into the dirt. Oh, okay. Someone snuck up on me. I was not checking my corners properly. Okay, let's uh, be careful. We went back a little ways. I should have been more diligent with my saving. Yeah, that happens too. Okay, but now we're gonna have soldiers up here. Be careful. First, let's deal with the bull squid in this room. There. Went better that time. Gather their supplies. Now we have rifle grenades. Or underbarrel grenades. If we had rifle grenades, that'd be a whole different system of firing. We need blanks and stuff. <laughs> Bruh, your eyes are lagging. Whoa, Zen. Try and keep up. We're running this game at 120 FPS, you're running at 30, oh no. Okay, tipped it over. That was off. Y'all probably heard that though. Let's be cautious. Oh, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Better to be 30 FPS than rather rendered in 480p. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> My resolution isn't the best, and I actually need new glasses. My depth perception is starting to suffer as I get older, and my glasses aren't enough anymore. Let's, uh... Yeah, y'all are with lying in wait for me. So, uh, Yayit. I know, my grenade got thrown first. Hey, ain't no shame in watching in 480p. It means it buffers faster. Pressing fire. Yeet. Okay, let's 
Let's be careful about this. Let's check our corners. Make sure no one gets the drop on us. Okay, we got supplies here. I thought that was a supply box. Maybe not. Okay. Fine. Be that way, video game. Okay, so someone got us in here. Where, though? You! You blasted me from behind with a shotgun. That's why I died so fast. Another one! Uh, I'm holding a mine. That's not great. Yeet. Chase you down. Chase you down. Well, that was messy. I wasn't able to pick this up, so we're at full capacity on the... Uh... Come on, show yourself. Just reload before we pick up his gun. Good, you had health on you. health. Uh, gonna save just to be safe. Not optimal, but it's better than being low. All these ammo crates and nothing in them. Wonderful. I see that HEV charger. But, no one waiting for me? Okay, I think the coast is mostly clear. More health, save. Now let's charge up our suit. All the way, use all that juice. We like blue goo, green goo is what we want to avoid. locked. Yes, so, so close to 69. We are right on the cusp of greatness. Well, down we go. Hi, hound eyes. No, no bada boom. Not today. Buggers? Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Someday we will get the 69. Okay, both of those are running. Okay, let's just head back over to this area. This isn't activated yet. Yeah, we don't have power yet. Um, so we like need to go down a level to an area that has like water. Yes, yeah, so maybe if we go through out here. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Okay, let's heal up first. Blocked. Okay, something's blocked. So, let's head down another level. We're good. So we should be able to activate our stuff now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you, you get some rest, Zen. Take it easy. Enjoy your giggle bush time.
Ah, right. Need to take that elevator we saw earlier. Which is actually a level down, I believe. Was it? Over here or up another level? It was over here. Okay. Yeah, I hear y'all coming down. Let's just, um. Yeet! <laughs> That'll do. Sorry about that, buddy. That was kind of overkill for one dude. I thought there'd be more of y'all. Let's take some cover behind this if there's anyone lying in wait for us. Yep. I think I did. Okay. I think we're clear. That ammo. I think I probably had something as well. Yeah. Health. Pog. Hear more. Where? Okay, let's dip this place before more guys show up. I think there was there more left in this. Yes. Top ourselves off. And grenades, cool. Put our finger on the trigger, in case more guys show up to ruin our day. But power is on now, so hopefully we can access... Power substation on level one. And then once we get that done, we'll probably call it a stream. messy. Eh, I'm just going to reload. That was a lot of damage that we took. Lost all of our armor in that encounter. We could probably go into that encounter with a hand grenade. At least to deal some damage in that aspect. Let's make sure that our um, shotgun is topped off. It is. Range on y'all's shotguns are insane. This one, okay, this one has a little bit left. Let's keep on moving. Need to take that big boy out. I'm stippy stomping around. Uh, I'm never gonna make it. You better go on without me. Yeah, you, you just keep yourself good, bro. Not to slow you down. All right, uh, save. Now we need to get in there and zap that boy. So, uh, skedaddle, 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 skedaddle. Yikers! Ow. Yeah, can you stop for a second? I need to get to that ladder. Thank you. Uh, ah, spicy. Get zapped. The power of electricity. Tesla would be proud. Okay, well, that's taken care of. Now we can get on a rail. 
You're gonna give me the rotation on your duh. Okay, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Off we go. And into the next chapter, I believe. Hey, it's Freeman, right? That's me. Hold up a sec. One of your scientist pals said they give you a message. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some sort of satellite delivery rocket or something. Okay. I don't know where it is exactly. The old guy was so worried about getting out alive, he didn't think to stop and tell me. Anyway, the main thing is, the military aborted the launch. So when you find the rocket, well, if you find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. Okay. He said something about a Lambda team needing a satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Ha! Clean up this now, mess, that's funny. Going. I'm going to stick around and help any other stragglers. Good for you, you're a good man. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch you later, Ray. I'm going to be signing off in a second here myself. We're going to be tying up the stream in a moment. Once we get down this hole. Oh, going down. It's time for on a rail. Oh, joy. I'm going to be starting out the next stream on a fun one. Ooh, good tunes though. Mmm, killer tunes. All right. Secure access. I do not feel secure in this in this part of the game. Not at all. On a rail. All right. No, just give me a second. I am going to save here, and we can call it a night. Let's do a hard save as well, just to be safe. Cool. That should have us covered. All right, excellent. Well, thank you to everyone that joined me today to get started on Black Mesa. It's great to be back in the world of Half-Life, and I am overjoyed to be playing this masterpiece of a remake again. Oh, big yawn. Oh, it just stretches in. <laughs> Mono do. Okay, well, y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, especially if you are new here and happen to be watching. Thank you to all of our lovely members, our precious little ticket-holding stringworms in chat. We appreciate your support so much. And if you want to join members, memberships, they are open for special stuff on the channel, as well as in the Discord that you can join. But for now, I'm going to call it a stream. Y'all take care of yourselves. Make sure to drink your water and get some good sleep tonight. And if you are going to partake in the giggle bush on this fine day, partake responsibly. Take care of yourselves. Alrighty, everyone. Well, I will catch y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>